Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. My name is Claire. Today I'm gonna to guide you through a power yoga flow. Um, option to grab a strap or maybe a towel or anything where you can make binds a little bit more accessible, but I will offer you um, some options where you don't have to take that full bind and you won't need anything. So just grab yourself, your mat, your towel, and let's get started today in a seat. Bring your hips onto your heels and start by grounding your palms down on your thighs. If you need a little bit more grounding or face up, if you want a little bit more energy over these next moments to really tap into your breath, settle into your space, maybe take some rolls of your shoulders, of your neck. Nice. I really want you to focus and acknowledge your breath right away to start. So inhale, feel it all the way down into your belly through the crown of your head. Hold at the top for three, two, one. Audible exhale, out your mouth, let it go. Let's do that again. Inhale, biggest breath in, soak it in at the top. Hold there for three, two, one. Audible exhale, let even more air go right there at the end, fully empty out. This time, inhale through your nose, seal your lips. Exhale out your nose, ujjayi breath out. Let it have a little bit more texture as it takes even longer to travel down your chest all the way to the bottom of your belly button. We'll start to take a little more movement. Hands come to your knees. Inhale, cow pose. Your chest lifts up. Your shoulders pull down and back. Open up through your collarbones. Breath in. Exhale, cat pose. Chin to your chest, press your shoulders back as you hollow your belly. Nice, again, inhale, seated cow pose. Lift up your chest, pull your shoulders towards your spine. Exhale, cat pose, like you're pulling your chest back. A couple more rounds on your own. Maybe close your eyes. Start to feel that fluidity of your spine forward and back. Come back to center. Guide your left palm behind your left glute. Sweep your right palm up and over to that side. Feel that nice side body stretch into your right side body. Option to bend deeply through your left elbow. Nice. Sweep your right arm all the way down and around. Right palm plants behind, left palm up and over to the opposite side. Feel that space. Maybe close your eyes. Lengthen, reach a little further. Sweep down and around. You can stay right there. Start to lift up through your hips. Inhale, reach. Exhale, sweeping motion down and around, lift up. Couple more here on your own again. Maybe you close your eyes, avoid how it looks, just see how it feels. Bigger sways, bigger movements. On your next round, make sure to land on that right side. And then come all the way back to center, walk your palms up to a tabletop pose. Tabletop pose. Right away, take organic movement. Maybe take some hip circles to the left and around, to the right and around. You can wiggle your head, yes, no. We're gonna take an active puppy pose. Palms come out towards the sides of your mat, thumbs on, fingers off. Walk your knees slightly back. Puppy pose where your hips will stay over your knees and then you just start to guide the crown of your head or the base of your forehead to the mat. Feel that opening into your shoulders. Shift your hips down and back. Keep squeezing your belly button up and in. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, slither forward all the way to your belly. Keep your palms right where they are. Keep your toes untucked. Come to your fingertips. Inhale, rolling cobra. Lift up through your chest. Keep migrating your shoulders down and back. Press to the tops of your feet. Inhale to lift. Exhale, plant your palms firmly. Press up back to that active puppy pose. Palms stay right where they are. Hips just come over your knees. Again, inhale, slither forward, lower down. Nice, press up, rolling cobra. Squeeze your glutes in, lift through your ribs. Inhale, lower down. Let's take one more together. Inhale, press up and back, active puppy pose. Shift forward, come all the way down. Inhale, rolling cobra, hold on this side. Can you press a little firmer through the tops of your feet? Feel your quads turn on. Lift your chest one inch higher, inhale. 
Exhale, left shoulder dip, stays right. Let your left shoulder fall, let it feel good. Inhale, lift back to center. Exhale, right shoulder dips, gaze left. Inhale, lift and hold. See if you can lift one more set of ribs, pull your shoulders and the under parts of your lats together. Inhale, exhale, lower down. Plant your palms. Inhale, press up high plank or tabletop pose. And then we'll meet in your high plank. Nice. Palms come directly under your shoulders. Guide your tailbone towards your heels. That should flatten out your spine. Feel all that length from the crown of your head towards the back of your mat. You can do it. Stay here. Maybe lift your right heel up. Just for three. Last two. Other side in one. Left heel lifts. Hold here. Deep breath in. Tilt your left hip down for three. Last two. And one. Downward facing dog. Lift up and back. Take any movement you need here. Bend one knee, then the other. Maybe come high to your tippy toes. Stretch the arches of your feet. Beautiful. We're going to take some rolling cobras. So guide your hips towards your heels. A down dog squat to the back. Inhale. Roll your chest up and forward. High plank. Exhale. Back to that down dog squat. So inhale up through uh, down dog. Roll forward, high plank, exhale, squat to the back. Lift up, roll forward. One movement. You can take it a little faster here. Feel that barrel roll all the way up and around. Awesome. Last four. We're gonna reverse in three. Final two. Reverse in one, down dog, squat. Shift forward, high plank, up to down dog, to squat. High plank down dog to squat plank down dog to squat shift forward think about pulling your neck or your chest forward rather than just your hips here next just for three final two down dog squat in one come down to your knees let's take some cat cows palms come under your shoulders inhale cow pose open up broaden your chest Exhale, cat chin to chest, press through your mat, tuck your tailbone. One more, inhale, lift up through your crown of your head. Exhale, cat pose. Come back to center, tuck your toes, take a breath in. Exhale, down dog, lift up and back. Nice, you've been here before. How can you find a little more length in your spine? Soften your knees. Feel your hip tips lift up and back like you're gonna drag the backs of your thighs up the back wall. Breath in, lengthen your neck towards your thumbs, deep breath out. Walk your palms all the way back to your toes, ragdoll pose, back of your mat. Bend your knees deeply. Let your belly drape over your thighs. Let it feel good, no judgment. Just stay here with all that weight coming down. Take a little rock. the crown of your head fall even heavier. Maybe take some bigger sways left to right. Nice. Beautiful. Release your grip. Come back to center. Inhale, half lift. Guide your hands to your shins or above your kneecaps. You really want the length of your spine. So think about pulling your neck forward as you lengthen your tailbone back. Feel your inner thighs squeeze in and back. That should activate your glutes even more. Feel that length into the backs of your legs. Deep breath in. Exhale, plank walk all the way forward. Walk forward, high plank. Again, reach your chest forward. Pull your shoulders back. Inhale, exhale, down dog. Inhale, your right leg high. Moving on. Exhale, scorpion tail. Open up your hip. Take some circles. Try to keep your shoulders level like they're pressing towards the front of your mat. Just open up from your hip flexor. Inhale, re-extend. Flex your toes. Flex your right pinky toe down. Take a breath in. Lift up. Exhale, knee to nose. Think about reaching your knee towards the top of your mat, your neck towards the top of your mat. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, low lunge. Step it through. Inhale, crescent pose. Rise up with control. Tilt your left hip forward, right hip back. Your ribs will want to jut out. Hug your front ribs into your back ribs. Soften through your left knee. See how low you can get in your bottom half, but how tall and lifted you can get in your top. Take a deep breath in. 
Stay with all those adjustments by sinking a little lower breath up. Final inhale. Exhale, chair, airplane arms. Moving to the top of your mat, chair, airplane arms. Sweep your arms down and back. Shift the weight into your heels. For today's variation here, try to parallel your chest in line with your thighs. Imagine someone's pulling your hips back and then reaching your chest forward. Beautiful, stay with it. Keep pressing your inner thighs in and down. Lengthen your neck forward, you've got it. Deep breath in, one more breath out. Big movement, inhale, mountain pose, tricep extension. Guide your thumbs towards the nape of your neck. Lift up and back with your elbows, lift your chest. Feel the tops of your hips lift up, inhale. Exhale, forward fold, bend your knees, come all the way down. Beautiful, inhale, half lift, lengthen your spine, pull your shoulders back. Exhale, high plank. In your high plank pose, get as flat as you can through your backside. Hover your right heel, take a breath in. Exhale, right knee, left tricep. Inhale, come back to hover. Exhale, pull it to your opposite tricep. Extend and pull. Extend and pull. You can always drop your left knee. Feel the strength of your arms pressing through the earth. Just for three. Last two. Three-legged high plank in one. Hold here. Inhale, shift forward. Option to drop your back toes. Lower halfway. Inhale, up dog. Drop both feet. Lift your chest. For today's variation, drop your thighs. Hug your navel up and in. Feel the lift of your chest. Then press the tops of your feet to fire up your thighs. Squeeze in. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Lift your hips up and back. Use your core to get there. Beautiful. Inhale your left leg high. Scorpion tail. Open up your hip. Take circles on this side. Again, press firmly. Draw your left shoulder down. Keep your toes flexed. Inhale, re-extend your left toes high. Think about shoving your arms forward as you reach your heel back. Inhale. Exhale, knee towards the front of your mat, neck towards the front of your mat. Try to get it closer to your chest. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, low lunge. Heel toe your foot through. Inhale, crescent pose, rise up. Adjust your stance, adjust your pants, whatever you need to do. Nice. You can have a little wider stance here if you're wobbly. Guide your right heel over your toes. Tuck your tailbone under. Guide your hips a little lower as you pull your biceps back by your ears. Stay here. Find all that strength as you ground down and then feel your fingers lift up. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, chair, airplane arms to the top of your mat. Same thing here, but we've been here before. Can you shift your hips a little further down and back? Parallel your chest to your thighs. We're gonna take movements with your arms. It's reach and back. Reach and back. Nice. Big movements. If you wanna add a little more, can you reach your thumbs towards your mat? Maybe add a little graze of the earth. Nice. Get your sweat start to go. Get the heart rate up just for four. The last three. Final two. Airplane arms in one big motion. Inhale, mountain pose. Tricep stretch. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Come all the way down. Inhale, half lift. Reach your heart forward. Exhale, high plank. Back to your high plank. This time, left heel hovers. Breath in. Twist and reach to your right elbow. Extend, twist, extend, and twist. Reach, twist. Like someone's gonna pull your toes all the way back. Keep your hips low for four. You can for three. Last two. Three-legged high plank. Drop it or hover it here. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, up dog and pause. Rotate the eyes of your elbows forward. Press through your palms to lift up through your heart. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Use your core to get you up there. Big breath in. Final breath out. Nice. One more time through that. We'll move a little faster. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, low lunge. 
Inhale, crescent pose, rise. Exhale, chair, airplane arms. Inhale, mountain pose, tricep stretch. Exhale, forward fold, soften your knees. Inhale, half lift, listen for the change. Exhale, tuck round and curl, option for crow pose. Knees come to the tops of your triceps. Shift your weight forward. Use your finger pads as little brake pads. Maybe you hover a heel. Maybe you stay with your toes on the mat. No right or wrong. Squeeze your navel in. Gaze at the top of your mat for three. Jump or step back in two. And one, chaturanga, flow it through. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. A little tutorial on my page if you want to get a little more time into those jump backs. Inhale your left leg high. Exhale, new nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent pose. Exhale, chair, airplane arms. Inhale, mountain pose, tricep stretch. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, listen for the change. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, Ukatasa, sink low, arms high. We've been here before, but this time, think mountain pose in your chest. Still sink your hips down and back. Press through the outer edges of your feet. Soften your shoulders away from your ears. Now it's an opposite arm, opposite leg movement. Left leg back, right arm back. Looks like this. So whichever leg stepping back, that same arm stays forward. We're gonna flow that. Come back up, inhale. Exhale, step it back. Front, step it back. Front, step it back. Try to stay even into your feet here. I know that right leg will be on fire. Stay with it for four. Just three more. Three. Final two. On this last one here, keep it back. Hold it back. Stay here. I know that leg's on fire, but ground down through your right heel. Take a little weight out of your leg by activating your right glute. Tilt your left hip forward, right hip back, then pull your left shoulder back. You can do it. Stay in it. Deep breath in. Sink your hips a little lower. Breath out. Inhale, warrior two. Right palm comes behind, left palm up and around. Maybe straighten in and out of your right leg. Let it feel good here. Awesome. I'll mirror you to start. Nice, then come back to your warrior two. Bend through your right knee, stack your right knee over your right ankle. Feel your left thigh squeeze and twist into center and then lift up slightly through your right hip. Find all those adjustments. Now squeeze every muscle to the bone. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, extend inside angle. Move your arms to six and 12. Feel that rotation of your mid spine, your thoracic spine. Tilt your right ribs under, left ribs open, and then press firmer through the edge of your back foot. Option to stay or reach your top arm up and forward. You've got a deep breath in. Sink your hips lower, breath out. Inhale, star pose, heels in, toes out. Burst open through your fingers, lift your chest, lift your hips up, inhale. Exhale, lateral lunge into your back leg, your left leg. Both feet parallel towards the side. Think about shifting your hips back as you reach your chest forward, long spine. So we'll take that inhale, star. Exhale, lateral lunge, twist. Right palm comes down, left palm high. Really now, really focus on the length of your spine. Pull your shoulders towards your tailbone, ground, ground down through the edge of your front foot. Beautiful, listen, inhale, half lift, prasarita, palms come out, chest comes wide. Same thing here, how flat can you get in your spine? Soften through your knees, but tilt your chest forward. Deep breath in, exhale, full forward fold, come all the way down, prasarita. Woo, first time here, maybe take some bends into both knees. Get your hair off your mat, because I have so much. Nice. Come back towards center. Soften through your knees. Use your core to get here. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, warrior two, right palm forward, right toes forward. Inhale, reverse warrior. Stay committed to your lunge. 
Nudge your right knee towards your right pinky toe. Think about lifting up through your right hip. Feel all that space as you breathe in. Inhale, exhale, low lunge. Right leg is down. Inhale, take a one leg halfway lift. That left heel does not have to come all the way up for this first round. Take a breath in. Exhale, left knee to chest. Bend deeply through your right knee. Knee comes all the way and hollow your belly. Inhale, now extend. Lift your left heel in line with your hip. Exhale, low lunge. Plant the heels of your hands. Inhale, three-legged dog without sound. Right leg high. Exhale, right knee, left tricep. Hold here. Inhale, three-legged high plank. Right leg covers just like we did before. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower half leg. Inhale, up dog. Pull your shoulders down and back. Exhale, down dog. Take a big breath in. Let something go. Big deep breath out. Setting up the other side. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, walk or float to the top. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold a little deeper here. Inhale, chair pose with the tasana, sink low, arms high. Navigate your shoulders away from your ears. Imagine you're scooping your bum underneath you. Feel all that tuck into your tailbone. This time your right leg steps, your, yeah, right leg steps back, right arm stays forward. So left arm back, right leg back. It usually just flows, but right leg back, left leg back. Let's flow it. Right leg, left arm. Nice. Get low, sweep it back. Make sure you're still reaching that right palm forward. Find all that length through your backside, just for three. Final two. Keep it stepped back in one. Keep it back, hold here. Woo. Tilt your right hip forward, left hip back. Try to square your shoulders forward. Lengthen your both fingertips in opposite directions. Take a deep breath in. Sink a little lower into your hips on the breath out. Inhale, warrior two, left arm behind. Right arm up and around. Come in and out of that left leg. Woo! Nice. Maybe even widen your stance. Guide your left toes a little further forward. I like to pigeon toe my back toes in. Then reach like you're trying to touch both sides of your room. Pull your shoulders towards your spine, then down towards your tailbone. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, extend it, set angle, move your arms to six and 12. Whew, find that depth. Continue that spiraling of your right inner thigh in, but then that lift up through your left ribs and your left hip. Like you're gonna reach your hip tips forward. Stay in it just for three. Maybe reach that top arm forward too. Inhale, star pose, heels in, toes out, burst open. Exhale, lateral lunge, twist. Left arm down, right palm high. Sweep your hips back, hug your belly button into your spine, then pack your shoulders a little closer together. Deep breath in, sink lower breath out. Inhale, half lift, proserita, arms come to a T. Maybe pigeon toe your toes in. Soften your knees, but lift up through your chest, breath in. Exhale, full prasarita and fold. Just here for a breath. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Rise up using your core. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, stay low. Think about lifting up, then back. Square your shoulders to the side. It's a side body stretch. Deep breath in. Exhale, low lunge, spin down. Inhale, one leg, halfway left. Exhale, knee to chest. Tuck round and curl, bend through that left knee. It's super important. Inhale, re-extend, one leg, half lift. Exhale, low lunge, Put hands plant. Without sound, use your core, inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee, right tricep, hold here. Inhale, three-legged high plank, shoot your left heel straight back. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower half leg. Inhale, up dog, lift your thighs. Exhale, down dog. Big breath in. Deep audible breath out. We're gonna flow, breath to movement. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, walk or float to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift, 
pull your heart forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, sink low, reach high. Exhale, left leg back, right arm back. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended, side angle. Inhale, star pose, get big. Exhale, lateral lunge, twist, right palm down, left palm high. Inhale, half lift, prasarita. Exhale, full prasarita. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge. Plant your palms. Inhale, one leg, half left. Exhale, knee to know, knee to chest. Sink low. Inhale, extend. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, three legged dog, lift high. Exhale, right knee, left tricep. Pull. Inhale, three legged high plank, shift forward. Lower half leg. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Without hesitation, inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, pounce to the top. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, right leg back, left arm back. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, star pose, take up space. Exhale, lateral lunge, twist to the back. Inhale, half lift, cross arena. Exhale, full cross arena. Inhale, star pose, burst up. Exhale, warrior two, press down. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, one leg, half lift. Exhale, knee to chest, bend your left knee. Inhale, full extension. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, three leg dog, lift high. Exhale, left knee, right tricep, hold here. Inhale, three legged high plank, shift forward. Exhale, lower half leg. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. One more time through. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, walk or float to the top. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, sink lower. Exhale, left leg back, right arm back. Inhale, warrior two, stay low. Exhale, extended, side angle, keep moving. Inhale, star pose, I'll talk you through. Exhale, lateral lunge, twist to the back. Inhale, half lift, prasarita. Exhale, full prasarita, fold. Inhale, star pose, get big. Exhale, warrior two, press down. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge, palms plant. Inhale, one leg, half lift. Exhale, knee to chest, get low, tuck and curl. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, low lunge, with control. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg high. Exhale, right knee, left tricep. Inhale, three-legged high plank, shift forward. Lower half leg. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Last side, inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, walk, float to the top. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, get low. Exhale, right leg back, left arm back. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended, side angle. Inhale, star, your biggest yet. Exhale, lateral lunge, twist to the back. Inhale, half lift, prasarita, squeeze. Exhale, fold. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge, palms plant. Inhale, one leg, half lift. Exhale, knee to chest, get low. Inhale, extend. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg high. Exhale, left knee, right tricep, hold. Inhale, three-legged high plank, shift forward. Exhale, lower half way. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take a big breath in. Deep, audible breath out. We're gonna add on. Yay, inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, walk or float to the top. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, Upatasana, sink low, arms high. This time, guide your hands to your heart center. Hands to your heart. 
left heel comes to your glute. Squeeze. Now shift your left heel back, a little balance challenge. Low flyer drill, that right leg stays bent. Now I want you to imagine someone's pulling your left heel back, shift your hips back. Still light into your toes, but you can ground down through that right big toe. Stay here or knee to your chest. Pull it in, extend. Pull it in, extend. You can always guide your palms to either the earth, blocks, Get a little try though, guide your hands to your heart. Just for three, final two. Step it back, left toes back, right palm back. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, triangle trikonasana, straighten through that front leg. Reach, reach, reach forward. Move your arms to six and 12. I'll mirror you again on this side, stay with it. Soften through your right knee. Imagine you're gonna press your shoulders up against a wall behind you. Soften through that front knee though to avoid locking out your joints. Tilt your back thigh in towards center. Lift up through your bottom hip. Nice. Come all the way back into your extended side angle. We'll bend through your right knee. Stay here. Take a half bind. Palm flips. Guide your palm towards your right hip crease. For that opening of your left shoulder towards the sky. If that full bind is there, you can always bend down. Take that full bind. Grab for your, right, or your left palm underneath, but the tendency is to keep rolling forward. Pull your shoulders back over your thigh. The lower you can get into your extended side angle, the easier this is gonna be. If you have that strap, you'll take it in your top hand, your left hand. Same thing, twist around. Let that slack fall. Pull for the bottom of your strap. Imagine you're gonna pull your palms towards your back heel, lengthen your chest forward. I know we've been here for a while. Stay for three. Last two. Inhale, star pose. Let it feel really good. Exhale, lateral lunge into your back leg. Lateral lunge twist. Hold here. This time, lateral lunge um, reach. You're going to reach your palms all the way towards the back corner of your mat. Keep your lateral lunge. Shift your hips down and back. But feel all that space into your sides. Let the crown of your head fall heavy. You got it. Breathe. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Awesome. Walk your palms back up. Take that same twist. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Half lift. Prasarita. Hold here. We're going to take prisoner school. Prisoner Prasarita lifts. Hands come behind your head. Stay in that half lift. Lift up. Lower down. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. Exhale. Exhale. Now you can shorten your stance. That helps a little bit more with stability. Maybe pigeon toe your back toes in. Take a little slower descent down. A lift up. Down. For two. Lift up. Stay with it. Keep thinking length in your spine. Keep squeezing your belly button in. That'll protect your low back here. Just for four. Three. Use your core for two. Hold halfway down in one. Hold, inhale. Full press or eat Hold. Maybe bend your knees here, one side and then the other. Nice. Inhale, star pose, lift up. Exhale, warrior two to the front. Right palms forward. Inhale, reverse warrior, lift up and back. Exhale, low lunge. Pause here. We got add on. Inhale, one leg, half lift. Exhale, knee to nose, bend your right knee. Slow that. Inhale, extend. Exhale to chest. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to chest. Keep with it. Four. Three. Two. You're going to hold to your chest right here. Bend your right knee, drive down to lift up. Feel that right glute squeeze to press and lift. Inhale, one leg to dasana. Exhale, figure four. Ooh, sink down and back. Left leg, left ankle comes over the top of your right thigh. Avoid your knee joint. Press through your palms, broaden your chest. The key is to sink your hips down and back. Energize your left knee towards the earth, but lift up through your heart. Nice. Stay with it. 
You can stay here if you want to grab for the bottom or the inside of your right calf. Not in your lung, keep breathing. Pull your chest forward, shoulders back. Slowly unravel one leg to that snap. Inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Plant your palms first. Step your left toes all the way back. Inhale, three legged dog, right leg high. Exhale, right knee, left tricep. Inhale, three legged high plank, hold. One more set of knee to chest. It's pull, extend. Pull, extend. Just for four. Last three. Final two. Hold it back in one. Hold it back. Inhale, shift forward. Lower halfway down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Woo! Inhale, big breath in. Deep breath out. One more side. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, walk the float to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, your lowest one yet. Hands to your heart. Feels so good to get off that right leg. We're gonna come onto the left. Right heel comes to your right glute. Stay and then start to take that low flyer. Right heel shoots back. Try to level your hips, level your shoulders. Shift your hips back. Stay or knee to in or knee, knee in. I can't even speak because this is so hard. Stay with it though. Audible exhales when you break it in. You've got it just for four. Last three. Step it all the way back in two. All the way back in one, left palm back. Inhale, warrior two, adjust your stance. Exhale, triangle, trikonasana, straighten through that front leg. Tick tock your arms to six and back, 12. You wanna think about shifting your hips as further back as you can as you reach your chest forward. Twist your torso under, lift your chest up and forward. Stay here and then start to bend through your left knee. Come into your extended side angle. Hips come low. Track your tailbone towards your back heel. Pull your hip tips up towards the front of your mat. You can stay or take that bind. Flip your right palm. Half bind towards your left hip crease this time. Open up through your shoulders. Tilt your left ribs under. Stay. Or if you want that full bind, come down. Take that bind as you reach your palms towards your back heel. Pull your shoulders back. Brace your torso like someone's gonna punch you in your torso. Squeeze in and start to straighten through your arms. You can use that strap here too. Once you wanna get out, can you sink your hips a little lower and then lengthen the crown of your head forward. Just for two. Release, inhale, star pose. Ha, ah, never felt so good, inhale. Exhale, lateral lunge, twist to the back. This time, reach your palms all the way to the back left corner of your mat. Down dog lateral lunge. Like you're in down dog, you're going to press the earth away as you shift your hips back. So I want you to reach far, as far as you can, then plant your palms and press your palms forward as you shift your hips back. So that opposition, that squeeze of your navel into your spine. Deep breath in. Stay for the breath out. Come back, palms under your shoulders. Inhale, lateral lunge, twist. Exhale. Inhale, half lift, prasarita. Hold here. We're gonna go down and up. So it's lower down, up, down, up, down, up. Now think about squeezing your shoulders towards your spine every time. Rather than shrugging towards your ears, lengthen your neck. Working serratus anterior, those muscles right around your spine, just for four. Last three. Tilt your weight to your toes. Two. Hold your full prasarita and one full all the way down. Let the crown of your head fall. And take a little movement into your knees. Awesome. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge. Palant your, palant your palms. Inhale, one leg, half lift. Exhale, knee to chest, bend your left knee, get as small as you can. Inhale, extend, exhale, crunch. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, crunch. Feel your core working, Pull of your belly, press the air out, four, last three, final 
final two. Hold it in, hold it in, bend your left knee. Inhale, drive down to lift up. Inhale, one leg, Tadasana. Exhale, figure four. Right foot crosses over your left thigh, so you down and back. Feel that stretch into your outer glute. Shift your hips back, even though your legs are apart. Feel your inner thighs squeeze in towards center. Lift it and broaden your chest, down and back in your hips. You can take that next variation of reaching down, grabbing for your left calf, but no need. I know we're working hard. Stay with it. Slowly rise, one leg, Tadasana. Inhale, exhale, low lunge. Palms first, bend your left knee. Step your toes all the way back. Inhale, three-legged up. Left leg high. Exhale, left knee, right tricep. Hold here. Inhale, three-legged high plank. This is it, then a break. It's in, extend. In, extend. Five, just four. Last three, gaze to the top of your mat. Two, last one, hold it out. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take a big breath in. Deepest breath out. Inhale, come to your tippy toes. Exhale, come down to a seat. Towel off. Have some water. Yet again, I did not grab a towel, so. Okay, magic, I got a towel. Towel off. Now let's make our way down to our back for a little belly up court. We're gonna start with Sukta Baddha Konasana. Soles of your feet together, knees wide. Come all the way down. Hands behind your head, steeple mudra grip. Take a breath in, feel your fingertips reach back. Inhale, exhale, lift and reach, full sit up. You don't have to come all the way up, but just give it a try, maybe one or two in between. Otherwise, just reach back, reach forward, back, forward, back, or up, and down. Your choice right here, you can move them simultaneously or add a little mix in. Up, down, full up, and down. Reach, down, reach up. Whichever one, but keep pressing your soles of your feet together. Just for four, three, last two. We're gonna reach forward in one, reach and pulse, pulse. Eight, seven, six, maybe hover your heels. Just for four, three, two, and one. Hug your knees in. Cross your right foot over your left thigh, figure four. Hands behind your head, take a deep breath in. Exhale, left elbow, right knee. Inhale, center, twist. Center, twist. Or parallel your left shin, and then make connection. Twist. Exhale. Reach. And reach, just for eight. Seven, six, five. Last four, three, hold it up in two. Hold it up and pulse, keep mudra pulse. Pulse. Chin away from your chest. Just for four. Last three. Final two. Final one. Ooh, switch it out. Right foot down, left foot figure four. Hands behind your head, breath in. Exhale, reach. Lower, twist. Stay or parallel your right shin. Think about lifting your left shoulder as much as your right. Twist. Both side bodies working. Just for four, three, two, hold it up in one, pulse to the left, pulse, pulse, just for four, last three, final two, full body stretch in one, full body stretch, big breath in, reach your toes to the front, arms overhead, breath out, hands come down to your side, legs up overhead, legs at the wall, Take a breath in, actually, arms up overhead. Inhale, lower, lower, slowly lower, inhale. Exhale, reach your shoulders up, palms forward to lift. Inhale, slow lower for three, two, and one. Exhale, lift, down for three, two, one. Exhale, lift, you can, just for three, two, one, and lift. Give me two more, slow descent, exhale, lift. On this last one, hold legs up the wall, hold it up, and reach, reach, reach. Get it. 
Awesome. Last four. Three. Two. Last one. Full body stretch. Oh. Big breath in. Deep breath out. Leave your knees to squeeze. Rock and roll the length of your spine. Meet me in a tabletop pose. Tabletop, let's take some cat cows. Inhale, cow pose. Drop your belly even lower. Lift up through your tailbone. Ooh, that feels good. Big breath in. Exhale, press the mat away. Undulate your spine. Inhale, cow pose. Drop even lower. Roll the eyes of your elbows slightly forward. Lift up through your heart. Exhale, cat pose. Tuck your tailbone. Nice, come back to your neutral spine. Take a breath in, tuck your toes. Exhale, down dog. Just a little standing work. Make sure that strap is nearby if you want it. Come down to that down dog squat. We're gonna flow. Lift up and back. Lift up and back. Same thing we did at the beginning of class. Let's see if you can find a little bigger movement. Nice, get low. Squat lower to the back, lift up. Just for three. Last two. We're gonna hold your down dog squat. Hold, inhale. Exhale, knee to tricep. Come back to squat. Exhale, knee to tricep. Down, crunch. Down, crunch. Nice. Can you get a little further back? Reach your chest forward, hips low. For four. Last three. Knee to your tricep in two. We're gonna hold your left knee to your left tricep. Hold, hold. Lower your left knee down. Spin it to a modified side plank. Adjust your top, modified side plank. Just put my left knee forward. Make sure your left shin parallels to the top of your mat. Maybe take some arm circles. Nice, moving up to gate pose. Lift up, reach your left palm up and over your right side. Feel all that stretch, the pulling back of your left shoulder, lift up your chest. Okay, so you can stay there, or walk your right leg in. Practice a little binding one more time. Right palm comes inside of your right thigh. Left palm swings around. Maybe grab for underneath that leg. Maybe you come onto your toes, no problem. But then once you're there, see if you can draw your chest back. Just feel that bind. Maybe it'll come in handy later. This isn't the end goal though. Just try to open up through your shoulders, open up through your chest. Nice, release that. Come all the way back to your modified side plank, then spin towards the front of your mat. Right leg comes up. Nice, right leg hovers. Kick your heel to your glute. Let's take a little quad stretch. Again, imagine drawing your right shin up the back wall. Hug your belly button in. Lengthen your chest up. So nice. Plant your left palm, right foot steps it through to the front of your mat. Inhale, pyramid pose. Lift up your hips. You can step your back foot in. Try to seal both feet down to your mat. Shift your left hip forward, right hip back. Every inhale, think about lengthening your spine. But then on your exhale, find that depth. Soften through your right knee, but draw your chest towards your shin. Feels so good. Take a deep breath in one more time. Deep breath out. Plant your palms. Bend your right knee. Inhale, standing splits. Left leg comes high. Draw your chest towards your shin. Crown of the head towards your toes. You can stay. Or if L hops are in your practice and you want to take a little flight with those L hops, maybe give it a try. Whatever you want to do, maybe hold that standing splits. Option to grab for the back of your right calf. Focus on lifting from your hip rather than your heel. So nice, one more breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, airplane arms. Left knee leads, one leg to Dasana. Exhale, extend that left heel forward. Scoop your left hip back, right hip forward, take a breath in. Exhale, crescent airplane arms, step it all the way back. Inhale, we'll star pose. Lift up. Exhale, horse squat. Sink down and low into your horse. 
first time here, take some shoulder dips. Let it feel good. Okay, just come back. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two. Nice. We're going to take triangle trikonasana. I'll mirror you. Reach your left palm or your right palm forward. Shift your hips back. Tick tock your arms to six and twelve. Now you can stay in this, this triangle pose or move into Birds of Paradise. You can grab for your strap. Strap will come into your left palm. Take that bind behind your back. Take the strap, bend through your front knee. Grab for your strap. Your left leg will come in towards center. Left leg in, so narrow your stance. Then start to shift the weight into your left leg as you drive down, just like we practiced before. Drive down to lift your right knee in towards your side body. Pull your right shoulder back, left shoulder forward. This is a great place to stay. Find or not, maybe extend that leg to the side. Keep drawing your shoulders back over your hips. Hug your belly button in. Slowly begin your descent all the way down. Right leg comes down. Step back, release your strap. Inhale, reverse triangle. Shift your hips forward. Reach up and back. Breath in. Exhale, high to low plank. Chaturanga or straight to downward facing dog. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Awesome. We're going to take the other side. From your down dog, one more side, we're going to take that down dog squat straight to knee to tricep. Knee to tricep, down squat, tricep, squat, tricep, back. Tap back into your strength. One more side you can, just for four. Final three. Last two, your right knee holds. Right knee holds to your tricep, lower all the way down. Spin onto your right shin, modified side plank. Left palm high. I'm gonna switch it around on this side. Stay on your side, we'll be in that modified side plank. Maybe take some arm circles with your left arm. Come into your gate pose when you're ready. Slide your left palm down, reach your right palm up and over. Again, you can stay or step that left leg in. Weave your left arm inside of your left thigh. Right palm swings around. Wings around and then grasp for your left palm. We're almost at the end, so if you can stop listening to me, mess up. Reach your chest forward, pull your shoulder, and then pull your shoulders back over your back. Keep squeezing your belly button in, lengthen your heart forward. Stay with it, release your grip. Come all the way back around to the front of your mat. Your left leg lifts. One leg tabletop. Right palm swings around. Kick your left heel to your glute. Take that quad stretch. Should feel good. Fire your left inner thigh. Hand and up. You've got it. So beautiful. Right neck. Now extend. Left leg steps all the way through. Left leg in. Inhale, pyramid pose. Lift your hips, straighten your legs. Right foot can come forward so that you can firm down through both heels. Right hip forward, left hip back. Drag your shoulders away from your ears. Take a breath in. Exhale, full release. Activate through your inner thighs. Take a breath in to lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Stay here, start to plant your palms. Inhale, standing splits, launch onto your left leg. Right leg high. And you stay there. Keep lengthening up through your right heel by squeezing your right glute to lift up. You can stay or add those L hops in. The little play if that's safely in your practice in your home. Just for three. Final two. Forward fold is our meeting place. Forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, airplane arms. Right knee leads. One leg to dasana. Hold here. Option to extend your right heel forward. Activate your right thigh to lift up. Inhale. Exhale, crescent airplane arms. Step it all the way back. Beautiful. Inhale, star pose. Open up. Exhale, horse squats and glow. 
Beautiful, straight back into star, inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straight through your front leg. Reach as far forward as you can. Move your arms to six and 12. Soften through your left knee. Reach your heart forward. Energize your tailbone down and back towards your back heel. Stay or take that bind. You can have the strap in your top hand. Again, flip your palm. Take that bind just like we did at the beginning of the class. This time, your right foot will step in. Start to shift the weight all the way over to your right leg. Drive down to lift your left heel up towards the sky. Pull your left shoulder back, right shoulder forward. Try to act like you're standing straight up. Then if you want to extend that left heel open to the side, maybe play with that extension. Not necessary right here, just bend that opening through your chest. Beautiful, slowly descent down, left leg comes down, step it back. Inhale, reverse triangle, lift up, shift your hips forward, let it feel good, breath in. Exhale, high to low plank, last chaturanga of class. Take it or leave it to make it your best, or choose not to let go of ego right here. Down dog is where we meet. Big breath in, deep breath out. Inhale your right leg high. Exhale, half pigeon pose, right knee behind your right wrist. Scoop your left toes further back. I like to tuck my toes, pull my hips back, then I tuck my toes. Maybe gaze over your right shoulder, scoop your left hip forward and down. Palms can come to your outer hips, lengthen up through your chest. Stay here, inhale, exhale, reach your heart forward. something. If this variation doesn't feel good or hurts in any way, always option to come down to your back and take that figure four. Left palm behind your left thigh, or your palms behind your left thigh. For an additional stretch, pull in towards your chest. Maybe extend that left heel high. Slow down your breath. See if you can elongate your inhales and then match your exhales to the length of that. Amazing work, yogis. Just allow yourself just about three minutes to slow down right here. Stay with me. Beautiful. Tuck your left toes. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg high. Option for scorpion tail. If you want to flip your dog, right toes come all the way down. Lift your chest, lift your hips. Love the variation of reaching your heart forward. Feel even more space. Nice. Come all the way back to your down dog, and then let's switch it up. Left leg high, inhale, exhale, half pigeon pose, ekapada, raja kapitasana. Again, you can tuck your right toes, scoop your right leg back. This is the best. Right hip forward, left hip back, and then maybe gaze over your left shoulder. You should feel your Uddiyana Bandha, that feeling of like you're squeezing your pee in. It's a really nice description, I know, but squeeze in so that you can lift your inner thighs, feel that lengthening up. And then if you want to, continue to melt your chest all the way forward for a little deeper stretch here. Maybe in the slightest movement, tilt your right hip forward, left hip back. Release some tension out of your shoulders. Again, let your forehead rest on something right here. If you took that other variation on the other side, please do so here. Continue moving forward, tuck your right toes, inhale, three-legged dog, left leg high, scorpion tail, open up your hip, take that flip dog, reach your heart forward, reach your left palms forward, lift your hips, now dog, inhale, gaze forward, exhale, walk or float through to a seat, come all the way to a seat, option to extend your palms forward, reach your legs forward, and then come down all the way to your back. Let's take happy baby pose, extend the soles of your feet to the sky, knees wide, grab for whatever's accessible, press your tailbone down, take a little rock. Such amazing work. It's amazing what moving your body and just connecting to your breath, that mindful movement can do for the rest of your day or whatever you need. So thank you. Guide your 
knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around your shins. Give your forehead a squeeze to your knees. Take a breath in. Exhale, release everything into that full corpse pose. Soften your shoulders. Unclench your jaw. Release your tongue from the roof of your mouth. You can stay right here. I just want to thank you so very much for continuing to meet me here on your mats. Whatever variation, whatever it is, how long you do it, please just know that I encourage you to keep coming back, keep moving for your own mind, your own body, and your own health. As always, my name is Claire. Thank you so very much for letting me be your guide. Please subscribe to my page if you want to have notifications for when I post a new workout. But I'm just doing this so I can continue to connect however we can during these uncertain times. So thank you. Namaste. Have a beautiful day.